Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Easy Tiki Drinks. Today on the channel, we've got like a culmination of different events happening basically when this video is going to air. And so because of that, we're gonna pick a cocktail that, well, I mean, why not, right? I mean, cause honestly, we've got President's Day, Mardi Gras, and Donna Beachcomber's birthday. So what better way to celebrate than with a QB cooler? I'm Andy, this is Easy Tiki Drinks, let's do this. So before I begin, I just wanna say happy birthday, Don. Well, early birthday. Tomorrow is actually your birthday when this video airs. And honestly, if it weren't for Don the Beachcomber, Tiki wouldn't exist today. In fact, he's pretty much the creator and godfather of Tiki, not the term, but definitely the style of cocktail. Now, I've done a lot of Don's other cocktails on this channel. I've done my version of the Easy Tiki Zombie. I have done the Navy Grog. I have done Three Dots in a Dash. So I needed to find a cocktail that was still like as powerful as those and still represented Don's uh, cocktail style in and of itself. So I realized I've never done the QB Cooler and what better time to do it than now. And honestly, the QB Cooler might have a history just as torrid as the Mai Tai itself, which it's actually linked to. I'll get to that in a second. But first, let's see what we're gonna need to make the QB Cooler. To make our QB Cooler, we're going to need Plantation Isle of Fiji, honey syrup, falernum, orange juice, lime juice, aromatic bitters, saline solution, and soda water. Now those ingredients may look a little bit different than what you're used to in the classic recipe. First, let's talk about the rum. I'm using Plantation Isle of Fiji. Originally, Don used a blend of three different rums, a light rum, a gold Jamaican rum, and a Demerara rum. I actually find that the Plantation Isle of Fiji marries those flavor profiles super, super well. Now, if you can't get the Plantation Isle of Fiji, which I completely understand, your best bet is to go with a split base of um, Jamaican rum, like Plantation Signature, and a Demerara rum. Something like an Eldorado 5 will work really, really well. Next up, we're missing an ingredient. In the original, we have what's known as ginger syrup. Now, ginger syrup is not a super common ingredient in tiki cocktails, but it does show up in the QB cooler. The problem is it's in a very small amount. So instead, what I'm gonna do is up the falernum. Now, in order for that to work, you're gonna need a very ginger and clove heavy falernum, which is why I'm using BJ Reynolds falernum. Now, you could also use a falernum number nine. That would work just as well. I don't recommend a John D. Taylor though. It's not gonna have that punch that you're looking for. For my aromatic bitters, I am using the Bitter Truth Company aromatic bitters, and these are great. They have such a nice, deep roasted note with a bunch of spice and cinnamon and clove in them, and it really complements the rest of this cocktail. And last but not least, something that you guys will start to see me do a lot more on this channel is add saline solution to our cocktails. Now, I'll go into definition into like why later on in another episode down the road, but for the time being, just understand that it's super easy. It's a 20% saline solution, 20 grams of salt uh, dissolved in 80 grams of water. Done, that's it. Put into an eyedropper bottle, super simple. So what's the history of the QB cooler? Well, Don himself said that it was pretty much the predecessor to the Mai Tai. Now, before you go along, you say, Andy, none of these ingredients are like the Mai Tai, and I agree. But the story goes that Vic traveled down to Hollywood, visited Don the Beachcomber, tried the QB Cooler, and wanted to recreate that flavor profile back at his restaurant, Trader Vic's, which eventually became the Mai Tai. Now, it's a little weird because the ingredients that we have for the QB Cooler aren't anything like the ingredients that we have for the Mai Tai. So how did that work? Honestly, I don't know if I agree with this, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna try the QB cooler after we make it and see if the flavor profile is even similar. So let's get to making the QB cooler. Grab your shaking tin, and in your shaking tin, you are gonna add five drops of saline solution, two dashes of aromatic bitters, three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 milliliters of lime juice, one ounce or 30 milliliters of orange juice, half an ounce or 15 milliliters of honey syrup, half an ounce or 15 milliliters of falernum, and two and a half ounces or 75 milliliters of our Plantation Isle of Fiji rum. We're gonna add a little bit of pebble ice to our shaking tin and give it a nice whip shake for about five to eight seconds. We're gonna grab our double rocks glass. We're gonna bottom about an ounce of soda water. Then we're gonna open pour on top of our soda water. We're gonna to top with some more pebble ice and garnish with a big bushy mint sprig and a surfside sip straw. 
So there you have it, my version of the QB Cooler, or at least how I serve it. Now again, it is different than the original recipe, but I find that I like this as an easier version, right? I don't have to go and get ginger syrup that I don't typically use and use a small portion of it. This allows me to contain all the same flavors, but make it a much more simplified version. Let's give it a taste and see if it comes close to the Mai Tai. That's a wonderful cocktail. It is clove and ginger and honey on the back end. Wow, that honey is still coming on, which is really, really nice. That plantation Isla Fiji rum is doing a wonderful job of adding this almost like crisp green apple flavor to this thing, which I actually find when you combine something like an Appleton 12 and an Eldorado 12, I get a predominantly like green apple flavor out of it and I get the same thing out of my plantation Isla Fiji, hence why I use this in sub of those two rums. But let's be honest, this tastes nothing like a Mai Tai. Nothing like a Mai Tai. The flavors are completely different. So for anybody to say that the QB Cooler was the predecessor to the Mai Tai, I think, honestly, it was just a ploy to gain publicity after the Mai Tai gained fame. Basically, I think somebody came out and basically was like, oh, well, our drink, the QB Cooler, was similar to that, and so that's where Vic got the inspiration from. I don't think that's true. Yeah, let's give this one more sip just to make sure. Yeah, I mean, not only that, but like the Mai Tais that we used to have nowadays are much more bold in flavor. The ounce of soda water is actually doing a really great job of lengthening out this cocktail and kind of making those flavors meld a little bit more. It just adds another layer of dilution but the carbonation isn't really there because it's only about an ounce. It's not like we're topping this thing with soda water. Which by the way, for those of you that are asking why I put my soda water in the bottom and then poured the cocktail on top and not the other way around, it's called bottoming. And the reason being is different density fluids will layer on top of each other if not poured in correctly. So essentially if I had poured the cocktail in first and then the soda water, the soda water would just sit on top of the cocktail and not uh, blend in. Whereas pouring it in the bottom first and then pouring the cocktail, which is a higher density, it mixes as it pours in, uh, incorporating the soda water into the cocktail. Why don't we like whip shake it with the soda water? Well, soda water is carbonated. You do not want to shake it because then your shaking tin would explode. Don't do that, all right? So there you have it, the QB Cooler as I serve it, right? I slimmed down the ingredients a little bit, made the proportions a little bit easier. Uh, all these ingredients fit within my beginner tiki series. So anybody starting their beginner tiki bar should be able to make a QB Cooler at home pretty easily. And that's it for today's episode, guys. So I'm gonna go enjoy this QB Cooler. I'm gonna celebrate Don's birthday because if it weren't for him, none of this, even my channel wouldn't exist. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, follow me over on Instagram and TikTok at Easy Tiki Drinks, subscribe to my Patreon. I'll leave all the links in the description below. You know the deal. Uh, yeah, and until next time, guys, I got nothing else for you. So take it easy.